Protection and control systems have to be integrated correctly in order for a substation or power plant to work reliably. All signals must be connected with the correct polarity from the instrument transformers to the automation units, meters, and protection relays, and from the relay's trip contacts to the circuit breakers. To assure the correct function of the protection system, each of its components is tested, as well as their interaction. The multiple functions of the CPC-100 allow it to be used to commission protection systems, identify faults, and perform troubleshooting. In order to assure correct connection of the current transformers, their ratio and polarity can be tested with the CPC. This is especially important when testing tapped CTs. Measuring the excitation curve ensures that protection circuits are connected to a CT's protection core. The correct ratio and polarity of potential or voltage transformers can be verified. The CPC can also measure the burden of instrument transformer circuits. Injecting a test signal at the primary side of a single instrument transformer and checking the reading at the relay prevents incorrect wiring of phases and allows the instrument transformer ratio setting in the relay to be verified. For checking the signal polarity along the secondary wiring and its terminals, the CPC generates a sawtooth signal and injects it into an instrument transformer. Then, the handheld C-pole is used to verify the polarity at all connection points. In order to verify connection and function of overcurrent, differential and distance relays, and to measure the total trip time, including the circuit breaker's response, the CPC injects a high current at the CT's primary side to simulate a fault and make the protection system trip. The CPC can test the integration of a protection and control system within a substation or power plant by testing all of its major components and their interactions. All of this can be done with power from a single phase wall outlet. <laughs>